Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with another video for the playlist series here on the channel covering ICOMS ID51 Alpha Plus D-Star handheld radio. In this video I'm going to attempt to cover general routing settings in your radio when operating digital mode and how reflectors work within the D-Star system. Now this doesn't cover all versions of reflectors, this is just the DR type reflectors that work with the D-Plus software on the gateways. Up here on the whiteboard I have some examples of some routing. So the first thing we're going to cover is a basic QSO or contact on your local repeater. What you would put in the radio when you first get it out of the box and how you would set the settings in that radio. In my local area, my repeater is the W4HFH repeater. There's actually three repeaters at this site, a 23 centimeter repeater, a UHF repeater, and a VHF repeater. The 23 centimeter repeaters are referred to as the A module, and I have that written down here. But in the drawing, I just have the UHF and the VHF, B and C. So whenever you see a call sign and then it's followed with the letter C, they're talking about the VHF repeater. And if it's followed by a letter B, they're talking about UHF. And if it's followed by the letter A, they're talking about 23 centimeters. You get your radio out of the box, you want to get on digital mode, and you want to talk in your local repeater. Well, there's three critical settings you have to put in the radio. And that's the UR call line, the repeater one line, the repeater two line. The UR line basically is telling everybody else, here's your transmission, who you want to talk to. It can be call sign specific, repeater specific, or in this case, CQ, CQ, CQ. You want to talk to anybody that will hear your transmission. The second line, the R1 line, is what repeater are you going to connect to? Well, in this case, I'm connecting to W4HFH, so W4HFH, but I'm coming in VHF, so in the eighth position, and this is critical, I put C. So that's how my radio is programmed, kind of saying how I'm going to get into the system, how, my on-ramp to the highway. The second line, the R2 line, is W4HFH also C. So basically it's saying my communications will start in the local repeater and end on the local repeater. So anybody who's in range of this local VHF repeater with this configuration will hear me. Now this repeater is connected to the internet and a reflector, but with this routing setup here it will not go out to the reflector. If I want to get out to the internet and have people on the reflector and other systems that are connected to the same reflector hear me, I have to do this routing table here, UR call, CQ, 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 of course R1, I'm connecting into that VHF node there, so I would put W4HFH, 8th position C, but then in the line 2, the R2 line, I put W4HFHG in the 8th position for gateway. Now any of my transmissions picked up by this local VHF repeater, not only broadcast out over the antenna, but they're also routed to the internet to the reflector it's connected to. In the case of my system, this repeater is connected to the reflector 62C, which also has two other sites connected to it, so there's three repeaters. So in that G mode, every time I transmit up here, all the radios tuned to this VHF frequency here will hear me, and anybody connected to these repeaters at other locations, because my signal is going to get routed, out through the gateway, out to the reflector. These other two repeaters are connected to this reflector, so anything that this repeater hears, this repeater and this repeater will hear, and vice versa. Anybody transmitting in here is automatically getting routed up over here and I can hear them as well. So, let's say I want to connect to a distant system on the other side of the country and go through a reflector. Then we would change our routing table here. Now the website you want to check out when doing this is called dstarinfo.com and it has a list of all the systems out there by maps and a list of all the reflectors. So in this example, and I just picked one off the website, Reflector 30 Charlie has a cluster of repeaters connected to it. Now the reflectors are like conference call bridges. So basically anything heard on one repeater is shared on all the repeaters. And reflectors also allow IP-based devices, like dongles for people who don't have radios, to connect to the reflector and gain access to all the RF or radio resources, repeaters, connected to the same reflector. So I'm over here at this location. I want to connect to a repeater at this location on that reflector. So I'm going to change my routing a little bit. I'm going to change my routing up here to you are, I am calling, REF030AL. 
I'm going to put R1, W4HFHC, because I'm coming in here, R2, W4HFHG, because I want to get out of here and connect to this reflector, and I'm going to transmit once and wait for an acknowledgement back from the system that the link has been established. Then I'm going to go into the radio's menu and change this UR line to CQ, 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 because now the link is set up. Now I want to talk to anybody who's on these repeater resources out here. So my second transmission and subsequent transmissions during my contact or my QSO are going to have UR line CQ, CQ, CQ. And I'll get routed through the system. Now I'll come up through here. I'll be routed to this reflector. So anything connected to this reflector will hear my transmissions from this location. Now mind you, this site's on the other side of the country. When I'm done with that QSO, I need to unlink the reflector. If you're gonna use the resource, when you're done using it, you wanna unlink it, because while you have it linked, all these repeaters and everybody using these repeaters are hearing everybody. So you don't wanna like leave the front door open and leave. When you're done, close the door behind you. So you change this UR line out to the eighth position. You put a U in there, transmit once, and the system will come back and say it's unlinked, and now you're disconnected. Now you can return to this configuration if you just wanna talk on your local repeater, or this configuration here with that G if you wanna talk on your local repeater and all the resources associated with reflector your system's connected to. I hope that wasn't as clear as mud. There's a lot of moving parts here with these stars. These are the settings I've been using as I've been experimenting with the system and reaching out to other hams to get guidance to learn how this system works. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna set the camera up on the bench, pull out the radio, and actually show you how I go through the menu features in the radio to do this kind of setting, this kind of setting, and of course this kind of setting, and how you can toggle through these three items here when you're using a reflector. All right, I've got the radio in VFO mode. As you can see here, there's a solid satellite icon showing that I have a lock, a GPS lock. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna go into DR mode, D star repeater mode, and go ahead and select my local repeater. I'm gonna do near repeater. So the radio is gonna look at the repeater list, the global D star list compare it to my GPS position and find the repeaters closest to me. I have the option of all repeaters, digital voice repeaters or traditional FM analog repeaters. We're gonna go with the DV or D-Star digital voice repeaters. It's gonna search the list. We're gonna come down here to Alexandria W4HFHC. That's the VHF side. Now we're gonna come up here to who I'm gonna call, because right now I'm just set up to be local. So I'm gonna come up here and hit enter there, and I'm gonna look for a reflector. And I'm gonna to link to a reflector. And I'm gonna do direct input. So now I'm gonna to try to move around the tripod here. I'll slide this down, get this in view. Now you can rotate this knob here to the reflector you want. So we'll go up to reflector 30 and hit select. So now you can see here in my UR line, it's REF030AL. This would set up the link. Now if I were to hit the push to talk here and hit that system, this would create a link between my repeater and that reflector. Let's assume that we did that because we're not gonna transmit to get on the air. Now I can come over here to reflector and go use a reflector. We've already done the, the link. We've already made the connection. So now I'm gonna hit use reflector. And now you can see it says CQ, CQ, CQ. So we have a link set up. Now we can talk to anybody we want to on the reflector. We've talked for five, 10 minutes, do what we gotta do. Now we're done. So as a matter of courtesy, we're gonna come in here to reflector, hit the unlink button. It puts a U in the eighth position. We would transmit into the system. Then you can just return to your repeater mode. Come over here to local CQ or gateway CQ. So if I hit local CQ, it sets the RPT or R2 line to the C mode. And if I go to gateway CQ, then it would change that second call sign line to W4HFH with the G. So we'll just set that to local. And now we're set up. So we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of this mode here. We'll go to memory mode, where I already have some system set up and you actually see how this is displayed in the system. So I can hit this right button here, the CS button, 
and you can see this is my standard configuration. UR, CQ, 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 talking to anybody I want to talk to. In this case, this is a different repeater, NV4FM repeater coming in on the C or the VHF repeater and allowing it to link to the gateway, but I can actually change this to not use, no gateway. And now, if I were to transmit into that system, I would only be heard on that local repeater. I would not go out through the gateway to the reflector. If I wanted to enable the reflector, I can come in here and enable gateway. And now it puts in the NV4 FM G in the eighth position and any subsequent transmissions. I would be heard on the repeater and be routed to the reflector that this repeater is connected to. So I hope this video provides a little clarity in how to set up the routing in your radio and how to connect to a reflector and different resources out there. There's other options. You can link to repeaters. You can link to specific call signs and I'll try to cover those as we continue on with the playlist series, but I have to learn a lot about them myself before I feel confident enough to make a video. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a brief overview on D-Star call sign routing in digital voice mode and how to access reflectors and program your radio to do so. Thanks for watching, guys.